Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the farm. We are now on episode two of 15 Kids and Farming. I am so stoked you coming back to the farm. So with this one, there's all kinds of crazy tension building. There's a lot of homework done too. And we start showing results from our first crops we built last episode. So I can't wait for you guys to see what's coming. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and hit the ding alert button so that you can see the next episode drops and stay tuned for my other episodes and series coming soon. I cannot wait for you guys to see this one. So let's go ahead and get started now and dive in now. So we are gonna go into our big family here. So this is our 15 kids and farming family. So basically it all started because I saw, this is how I break in packs. Okay, so like every time I've got a pack, I pretty much take all the default families and then like dement them and make them like a little bit goofy. And I just kind of like, like have my own fun with it. Because, like, I, I usually tend to wreck the narrative that we're provided. Like, a lot of people, because I guess maybe it's, I, I just kind of had that personality and I didn't know it. But even now, going forward, as I see other people that really like to complete the challenges and sort of complete, like, within the boundaries, um, like, the, the Maxis sort of, like, narratives and that stuff. So I think that's cool. Um, so that, and then and on the other hand, I feel like that gives me a little opportunity to be able to do what I like to do with it, which is kind of take control of the narrative and then flip it on its head. So it's funny, but I actually took the fresh start gal that was in here. Yeah, her. And I gave her a very fresh start, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So she ended up, um, creating a family with 15 children. They had two dogs, but unfortunately one ended up like um getting taken away but then the, it was like this whole debacle because um it was so silly but it, it was like just bonkers because for the longest time I was acting like a sim had died in the house but then like the like repo lady from the city for the dog like she came in and then like but she couldn't get to the dog or whatever and then I like reset the dog before she could come take it so then my game was like limbo for a minute but then finally after like one whole or like even two sim days like finally it cleared out so that's really the only glitch i've had yet with this large of a family and this is like my first big take on trying to create such a large family and i wanted to like really make sure that i had a good set of hands to help take care of the farm and also kind of bring up and show responsibility so we have the 15 kids and I'm kind of creating this into a challenge and really the only couple things that would really like ruin your challenge and or make you lose would be if anybody like died or if anybody um, ran away or if anybody um, like like basically just sort of like fell off the face of the earth in some way shape or form so like like if they're like vanished like if they get repoed or whatever by social services anything like that then that would be it because um like other than that like you just want to make sure that all the kids are succeeding as best as possible um i found that it's easiest to do like an a team and a b team so then you have like these first like seven kids or eight kids here and then like the other seven or eight at the end um, that are doing like the night shift stuff and like helping clean things and take care of extra stuff and preparing food and taking care of all that kind of stuff so that your parents are left available to do whatever the heck they want and their autonomy kind of is hilarious. So again, that is the a, a new start family. And then what happened was is actually Cecilia King came along and she ended up uh, marrying her husband because Kim Goldblum. Now Kim Goldblum, she's like the local lady here. And she ended up it was originally Cecilia Kang and then Thomas Watson left his wife and married Cecilia Kang and then they had several kids. But then unfortunately then Cecilia Kang then had an accident in the kitchen and burned it down and didn't make it. After the fourth time she burned it down 
And so anyway, she came in and like did this crazy, like, like ended up coming back after from like resurrected from the dead in like the last episode. And so she ended up like coming back and now as part of like her agreement, she's like a farmhand now. And because her husband since like moved on, you know, and married Cecilia. So now we have like that situation going on as well. So there's this like interesting odd, odd sort of quasi love triangle um, because there's still some tension there because they used to be married in her previous life. But then unfortunately she died. Hmm. Eee. But yeah, I wanted to actually let you guys see how long this loads. Um, I generally will have all this already loaded up and ready to go, but I just wanted to kind of demo in real time how long my computer actually takes to load. It's got a four gigabyte graphics card um, that's liquid cool um, i7 overclock processor. And then it's got 64 gigs of RAM. It's got a, a 512 SSD hard drive and then a two terabyte um hyper threaded um hard drive that is like it, it clocks a little over 7200 rpms it, it overclocks on the on the speeds but it's not used for my save files and stuff so i'm pretty much just like writing right off of um the ssd on this um and then it's a 27 inch um 4k ultra hd monitor so you're gonna see all of my graphics in 4k yeah, so we are here, uh, oh, so we're, um, looks like our kids are sort of, um, letting it go a little, so we gotta get over here and make sure that our hands don't leave, because, um, it looks like somebody's thinking of leaving, um, these kids are all, looks like a lot of them are sleeping, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen children, and then we have the dog here, bay, 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 bay. And then we have um, the Cecilia Kang, and she is the lady that um, she's she's got a lot of roles. She's like chief of security here as well, so she's like the momager and like all kinds of stuff. But she needs to get out here and take care of things. Um, she's not really helping manage the house as, as much as she should be. The kids don't have enough space inside of their little house uh, to be able to do all of their projects and stuff. So what I did is I ended up just um, making them do them outside in the rain. Because fortunately in, uh, cardboard doesn't seem to fall apart in The Sims outside in the rain. Um, and then so we have some watermelon. Watermelon. This is, I'm not sure what. Um, oh, this is mushrooms. Yeah, oh, these are magic mushrooms. Oh, I wonder what that is. Um, that's cool. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see here. Watermelon. Watermelon. Okay, tending the garden. So we're going to have to make the kids get up here shortly. Um, I'm just going to kind of evaluate the situation. Now, because of the difficulty of the game, like, I totally am okay with cheating um, for this as well to make the kids happy enough. Because there are just so many that they're already going to immediately start getting like honked off anyway i wouldn't say that it's fair to make them all where they can't need decay like they should still allow mode of decay but i think at the beginning like it's okay to start out with like making sure everybody's like at least content on their needs so you can get your like farm and stuff going and then um it's funny but actually each of these kids have sort of like different traits a little bit you'll see as this goes along um, but some of them are more inclined to, like, skip school and, like, want to work on the farm while others are just not even caring about it at all. And so they just want to come in here and just sort of play uh, with with that. So it's it's pretty funny to me to kind of see what what it is that they're, um, the differences in the kids. So this is our little house um, and all that. I tried to make it as... Um, efficient as possible but trying to make it uh at least usable enough for like their family even if it was in like shifts or something you know so uh, we will go ahead and dig in now so i'm just gonna kind of first i want to actually check and see these people and see like or the sims see if they're so they're sad because that pet got taken away um 
last episode, but like it took forever for it to get taken away. And by then I'm like, well, why don't you guys just take care of it if you want this dog so much? So like they finally started taking care of it and then it was like fine so that we're able to keep the other one. And then I'm hoping that maybe we can like adopt, a, adopt a different one anyway. Um, so we're going to go to cheats real fast and active household cheats. Then we're going to fill the needs for everybody. And then we're going to go here, play, and then we're going to wake everybody up. <laughs> Come on, kids. We got a lot to get done out here. So, oops, I, I better uh, press one and not. Okay. So I literally have like everybody involved. It's an all hands on deck approach here. Um, everybody's trying to be as agile um, as possible. So let's hear. Ooh, that's gross. Tell a story about bed bugs. Who wants that? Oh my gosh. That is like a lot to handle all at once. Oh my gosh. That is much. Very much. Holy smokes. So let's see here. Uh, we are not ready yet to. Let's see. How. Ask how the sun tastes. <laughs> sure. Um, I think I have all of my plots planted. No, I don't. I need to plant this one. So it looks like, let's see here. Um, purchase crop seeds. Uh, we don't have any lettuce. Let's get some lettuce. We have $8.5 million, so we're not too worried about money. But, um, as part of, like, her death, like, there was this, um, payout. And so they got some... Uh, coin out of that and it worked for them in their favor so i'm really stoked that they had plenty of money to start out with because that can't always be this the case for people with this sort of uh size families so this is like at a best case situation and scenario <laughs> but i was thinking about it like a long time like like a long time ago people had really large families and people still do you know to an extent but like Back in the day, like, it was very common. And so that's what, that was one thing that just, like, really struck me on, like, oh, I should do a challenge on that. And, like, what if it's, like, a more legitimate, like, 1800-style family that came here with a lot of children and then had even more children? Um, let's see here. Gather roaming chickens. Assign chickens. Clean. We need to get all this cleaned up. We don't want our chickens dying. Before we even, like, get them, like, together. So is this one okay? Okay, this one's clean. Uh, we need to collect eggs. We need to collect... Bring me everything! I wish it was just, like, collect all, and I can make them just go around and collect them all. So, let's see here. Uh, gather. So that one doesn't even have any. Um, I think... Oh, yeah, because that might be... I actually named these. So we can take a peek at these but so this is the chick nursery so this one actually um when we started this this was actually just like a bunch of baby chicks but they've ser they've since turned into hens and then when the hens pass them we'll, we'll um like when we lose if we ever lose these hens then we can um you know replace them with a new uh chick nursery but i wanted to go ahead and leave them that way just so i remember uh, who's the youngest, like, and who's the newest chickens, or who's my spring chickens, <laughs> you know, uh, so that's kind of that, uh, let's see here, collect eggs, come on, kid, he is moving, he's getting there, he's getting there for sure, for sure, cool, yeah, 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 okay, we, yeah, we hear you, yeah, Maybe she's going to do something. I don't know. Is this a person? Who is this? What are they doing? She just like... Oh, it's it's a guy. He identifies as a male. And it's a Randall. But he needs to like come in here and not uh, ask for help cleaning. We should make this a community effort. And he's going to get Joni A-Team in. So the A-Team, they're like more experienced. Or they've had like a little bit extra like um like skills added to their profile like to make sure that they can maybe help keep things together um if all else fails you have like a couple that are there that are like the lieutenants so to speak um so i don't know what what's oh okay so that's the project 
Um, but I don't know who's... Okay, let's see here. So then what do we do? Do we take it... So this is... This is Shanice's uh, project. So I need to find Shanice. Shanice is the one with the really cool, like, um, multi-hair, multicolor hair. Um, so that's hers. So she's completed that. And she's really smart, too. And she's went and helped, like, everybody. Everybody always goes to Shanice for help. For everything. She's, like, the go-to in the whole family. And what is she excited about? So soothing chimes. Yeah, I did put those in, too. Because, like, I like making it feel as, like, realistic and real as possible. So I thought that that would be another funny way to, like, do that by adding in these, like, little touches of things. Um, okay, so then this is... This is Gladius's. Oh, and he's on the B team. So that means I know I need to go over to this side and look towards like, um, and then if you see here towards the end, um, some of these are, um, Ms. Goldblum's children. So there's Jonathan and then Bartholomew and then there's Nathaniel and then I have Joni then I have Marv, Dylan, Gladius, Rafael, Bay, or Bo. Actually, that's Bo, not Bay. Bay's our dog. That's Bo. <laughs> or Rafael. So it's Rafael, and then Rafael, and then Bo, and then Moniqua, Randell, Kang Moody. He's got, like, he's a really complicated, these are really complicated people, or Sims here. Um, they're the first ones, and they think they're, like, super entitled. And they have two last names, so they think they're really, like, important. I think one of them I made super famous, too. Like, not even gonna lie. Like, one of them are really famous. I think it's Marv. So there's Marvin and Marvin. So Marv follows in Marvin's footsteps. Um, so there's Marvin King Moody. And then, um, then, of course, we have Thomas Watson. And then we have... Um, it's Cecilia Kang, and then of course we have Kim Goldblum, and then Kim, Kim Goldblum's like the mom of the house now. So, uh, ew, uh, what is this? There's like tons of bugs everywhere. Um, so she should probably come out here and maybe take care of something. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, this is this is the mushrooms. These are the mushrooms. I can't plant over her mushrooms. She'll get mad. Um, let's see here. So then I'm going to water this. And then we're going to maybe uh, crop fertilizers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Some, something happened. Oh. I have no idea. Okay. Somebody's probably causing a ruckus. Okay. So then there's like what? Oh, these chickens and this dog here let me see i'm really going now thank you okay so uh, let's see here marvin is off to school everybody's going off to school but some of them left and that's another thing it's like homework time oh my gosh enjoy um best way to do that is like literally just like in real life as soon as they get off the school bus make them all go do homework um and cancel whatever else they're trying to go do and just make them go do homework and lock the door um and then it'll literally work um, so it looks like Kim kind of likes this dog, but she's not super stoked about it because they're kind of in the market for one more dog for the family since they've lost, since they, um, like lost their other one because it had to go, uh, class starts in about one hour. Oh yeah. And Randall, Randall, a uh, Moody Kang, he is so smart that he's actually in college. So that's kind of the heads up on that one. So we haven't collected a lot of eggs. It looks like. Um, but here you guys can see, like, um, they're very steadfast on, at least on trying to get their homework done. Um, gardening packets. Yeah, because, um, thinking about leaving soon due to inadequate care. Uh, food, cleaning, and attention. Oh, you know, they, that's one thing I have not seen them go do. Uh, but Shanice, you need to go to, you need to go to school, hun. Go, go to school. Uh, same with Gladius. What, what, what are these kids doing? Okay, so he's, he's on his way, finally. He's on his way. Like, these kids, they need to pick it up and get on. Get on. Get on down the road. Come on. Okay, 
So I'm gonna make the dad come out here and feed all these chickens. So, uh, before all of mine like leave, scatter feed nearby. No, don't leave me. Don't leave. Here, chicken, 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 chicken. Call chickens out. Gather roaming chickens to coop. Let's see, collect eggs, purchase chickens. I mean, we already have lots of chickens, so I don't really need to restock yet. But in any event, um, but I took the default house that came like with it, with the pack. It was like that one like basic sort of house that the new, the fresh start lady had that was just this piece. And then what I did is I then just like added on this other like efficient cottage part here and then restructured the entire design of the other side. So that was just more of like an open floor concept with some bedrooms um, to kind of divide up the space. Um, but I pretty much left the exposed beams and also the sort of um, vaulted, like, double ceiling entryway here as well. I left that too. Um, and then just, like, zhuzhed it up somewhere. So that's there as well. Um, so yay. And let's see here. So now we have... He's busy. He's always busy. Okay, so it looks like we've got... We need to take care of our dog, too. It's right here. It's it's not... She's not been doing well. Like, I think we need to take her to the vet, but I don't remember... Like, it's been so long since I played with pets that I'm like, uh... Because then when I go, like, pet care, what's wrong? Go on walk. Ask to go potty. Give bath. Maybe I need to... Today, the principal is visiting Monique with cla class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? Uh, hello? No, stop. Uh, someone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Jonathan wasn't invited to. You kind of thought the host was his friend, so it didn't make any sense. Should he ask his friend or let it go? Ask. Now what? Want to see what they say. Oops, turns out the party wasn't even for Sean's friend. Uh, it was only a show on TV. Jonathan feels a little silly, but very glad he asked. Randall's class starts in about an hour. Monica scribbles a note and passes it back to the kid. Stop or I'll tell. The kid wads up the paper and fires it at Moniqua, but it misses and rolls up to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else gets in trouble, and Moniqua gets off scot-free. Woohoo! Okay, uh, Shanice's PE class gets to uh, run laps, lots of them, uh, to build their stamina and lung capacity. She is mostly through the first lap when she notices a gap under the bleachers. Just the right size for a little rest. Would your coach notice if she sat out a few laps? Keep running, girl. We're not quitters. We are not quitters. Keep going. Keep on trekking. Shanit glances around and decides it's too risky, but imagining the cool shade uh, helps her pick up a little speed. Shanice finishes all her laps with a new personal best time. Yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. If she had given up, then she would have never realized that opportunity. Oh, now we gotta pick up the mail. I'm sure we've got like 80 billion simoleons and bills at this point. Like, I, sh I like stutter a little now when I like, <laughs> and shudder, like when I think about that at first. Um, so this person, oh, and how is our mail person like really, I'm, I'm just gonna go schmooze them a little. Um, let's see here. Get mail. I heard that you got a pet taken away. What kind of person neglects their fluffy, adorable pet? Well, like I said, we were having an issue. Um, you know, so this moment happened and then it was like, happened. And now it's like, whatever. <gasps> no, I think somebody screwed up someone's 
school project or they didn't finish it. Whose? Whose is this? Oh, Kelvin. Kelvin, where are you? I should make him like cut school and come home now and finish it. What is this? React to shamed project. Oh, smash project. Dang it. It's probably the stupid maid. I did not even see that happen. Who did that? Was it this chicken? Oh no. Oh no. Here, we've got to take care of all these chickens. They're freaking out. Feed white hen. But I thought if I just scattered food around that it would like be fine. Um. So now I'm like emergency running by all these chickens like to make sure like. Ugh. Dang you. Uh, dang you, PayPal. Come on, we got to get out of school now and like take care of these. Dylan, it's fine. Yes, you're going to scuff school and come home take care of the chickens. He's one of he's one of the guys that are going to have to, you know, he's he just knows sometimes he has to take one for the team. <laughs> and so I think he's probably going to get kicked out of school eventually, but then this lady, like why what is her deal? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, it's almost like g gal. Like, like what in the heck? Like, I might just have to, like, be really mean to you to get you to go do something. Um, because, like, literally, like, what in the heck is this? Um, friendly. Hello. What are you doing? He's, he's, like... I think she's like stuck off the lot somehow and that's so strange. So I think the only way that she's going to be able to like really do anything is maybe if she, oh, there she goes. Finally, I'm like, lady, get in my house and clean. It's, it's freaking messy everywhere. The yard's messy. The inside's messy. It's all just straight up messy. So I don't even, I don't even. This is just funny. Okay, collect everything from the mailbox. Agatha Crumplebottom. Pass. Okay. Um, now, what's this Bill's looking like? Oh, an adoring fan from Cecilia Kang. Oh, why did you have to send that in the mail? Weird. Okay, so I'll open the fan mail anyway, because that's but that's strange that, like, his own, like, significant other would send a letter in the mail but i mean i guess it happens i'm sure that's like a cute little thing to do like i guess um to recognize like uh call chickens to eat come on get your gettings uh let's see a rafael okay so let's see if i can because these chickens like i don't want to lose them um, feed brown hen. What is this tense? Everything feels a bit dirty. From being in a drink. Oh, yeah, because I forgot. He's super, like, um, big city. And he doesn't even like this whole farm lifestyle anyway. The only person that really does is her. And that's why she wanted to have all these kids and take over this big family and stuff. Because she wanted to have her own chicken farm. And, like, take care of stuff and make things to sell on Plopsy and and grow stuff, like, really cool stuff and all that mess. But no, no, of course not. Um, so we have a minnow. I wonder if I could just, like, use that as fertilizer. That would be nice. Because I don't need it. Uh, discard a food. Compost that. She's, like, getting grossed out, I think, because there's, like, junk and trash everywhere. <laughs> she And she's utterly enamored. Great. <laughs> Fascinating. I should put some, like, fish in here and stock this with fish just so it's another, like, really convenient, easy food source. So then we could, like, really technically live off the land probably more than just, like, relying on chickens that we would trade. Oh, no. This kid is so destructive. Dylan. Dylan, Dylan just totally destroyed Moniqua's freaking, okay, okay, he's in timeout now, man. 
Okay, so he's going to get in trouble, like, for real. Like, I cannot believe, like, just because he's famous does not give him the right or the authority to um, do such acts. Like, that's really mean. Uh, yell it. Yes. Like, I, I cannot believe you just did that. And then, I'm sorry, but we're going to really have to, like... Because that's probably who did the first one, too, and I didn't even notice it. So, um, he's going to get all kinds of, like, like, yeah, like, like, she's simply going to adopt him just so that, like, she can torture his, like, make his life, like, fairly miserable now. Because, like, uh, you have to learn to say sorry, like, for real. You better say sorry. That's not okay. And then, like, she might have to, like, smack him a little, too. Because that's not okay. Like, I can't... I, like, that... He just kind of needs a lesson a little bit here. And now it's like these kids are going to have to go and redo the project. Like, this kid, he's mad. Feed the black hen. Go take care of everything, kid. Yes. Not nice. Not nice. Not nice. I cannot. I cannot even. Like, that's not kind. Okay. Oh, and then we gotta pay the bills, too. So while this kid is, like, lashing out and going crazy. Um... Let's see here. I'll purchase gifts. Hire a service. Uh, find a job. She really needs to, like, get out of the house, kind of. I think she's just going crazy. And, like, she's not really doing a lot here at the house anyways, so I don't know why she, like, doesn't have a job. Other than she likes to criticize and go around and kind of be the, the other momager. But she's not actually managing or doing anything. So I'm thinking that we need to get her to do something exciting to kind of blow her mind a little bit more. Because, like, we even have a gardener here that he's, like, really helping take care of everything. So it looks really nice. Um... It looks good. Hey, she's looking at her chicken. Or is she startled by her chicken? I don't even know. Oh, she does not like us. Girl. Um, yeah, like, like really. Like, I cannot even believe that. I cannot believe that she's just being so, like, rude. Like, come on. She had a Naomi Campbell moment, but it's okay. It's okay. She'll be, she'll be okay. Things will be okay. Um, so we need to, like, pair up these kids to their science projects, too. Because, like, everybody, like, came around together and then, like, um, did these science projects. And then that other, like, crazy child is going to end up coming in. And stealing it, um, or breaking it. So let's see here. Everyone said eating dirt was okay, but something else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt is really unhealthy. If you do, kids may tease you. Go ahead. Eating dirt is fun. Uh, lowers manners, lowers empathy, or lowers emotional control. Um, and who is this? I didn't even get to see random... Uh, no, that's not random. Um, because I don't want to make this kid more demented if I didn't mean to make him demented. But we'll go ahead and just make him like that and see kind of what's up. Uh, let's see here. So now we have. I think this is actually nope. This isn't. This is another like twin of Randall's because I had like five sets of triplets. Uh, last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask other kids if you can join in. Talk to the teacher or just play on your own. Ask it, ask to go play. Thomas has advised Marv uh, affecting his character, value, uh, character values. 
Someone is eating dirt, but it's okay. Something else, uh, eating dirt is really unhealthy. Oh, so now this kid's upset because he saw someone else eating dirt. Hmm. If you do, kids will cheese you. Eating dirt is really unhealthy. Uh, I would say they may they 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 may tease you. Kim has advised Nathaniel eating uh, affecting his character values. Manners increases, empathy decreases. That's nice. So he's polite, but also not very kind to be around. Um, okay, so we need... Everybody's so tense right now, always. Everything's just intense. So what is this? Oh, because everything's a bit dirty. Well, everybody just needs to pitch in and take care of the place. Um, let's see here. Bo... I need to find Bo. Because he... Okay, here. He needs to claim his project. Put in inventory. Because I think you're supposed to take that and, like, do something with it. Or something. I don't know, but everybody's super offended with her, too. She's, like, just needs to go and do whatever she needs to do. Um, for real. Because it's kind of, like, a mess. Let's see here. So then, let's see here. That was... Ralphio... Raphael's like, this one? Yeah. So, he needs to collect his... Put in an inventory. Everybody's just like, I think it's because she, she like smacked that gal, but like literally like she is looking at the chickens the wrong way. She's like being crazy. She needs to snap back into reality, pull her back one, just, just a little bit, just so that she could like, you know, come back. Cause she's like stuck there or something. I don't know. In this mood. Um, okay, so then this one is Gladius's, which is, like, right here. Uh, nope, that's not it. Uh, nope. He's, like, over here. Uh, uh, uh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sounds like something not great. Um, okay, so... Um, oh my gosh, that was a crazy episode. And the next one's gonna be even better. I cannot wait for you guys to see the next one. So, yeah, make sure to hit the alert button, subscribe, and stay proud, everyone. Go out and do something magical. And until the next time on the farm, I'll see you soon.